In this demo, I will just give a brief explanation of uh, how to, to enable HTTP2 on our uh, Nginx server or Nginx proxy. Uh, so you might want to, to use uh, uh, HTTP2 to be able to get a multiplexing uh, connection between the server and the client. Uh, the problem with using TCP IP is all, has always been with, with HTTP 1 that you need one TCP connection for each and every um, file you want to download from the server or each and every asset you want to load from the server. This making HTTP 1 fairly slow. Uh, however, when using HTTP 2 and multiplexing, you can open one TCP connection and stream multiple files over that connection and, and that could actually be a good thing. Um, so what we will do is actually we will add HTTP to uh, to uh, this reverse proxy so that this connection between the browser and the proxy can go over HTTP 2. However, what we will not do is to add HTTP 2 between the servers. Uh, first of all, Nginx, as of today, Nginx is not supporting HTTP 2 for proxy pass. So for this traffic. Uh, there might be some modules that you can use to, to get that working. Uh, however, it's uh, actually not recommended to use HTTP2 uh, between the service and the proxy because uh, it could actually be, be beneficial to have multiple uh, TCP connections instead of one TCP connection uh, on, on the server. And since this is really, really low latency, since in this our case, we're actually on the same machine. So the latency here isn't a problem at all. The, the big problem is, is the latency over the internet. And that is what we can remove by using HTTP2. So uh, let's have a look. We will go into our server and it's a fairly simple process. We just need to uh, edit our uh, Nginx configuration file. Um, uh, that is called this one. Uh, and in this one, uh, what we need to do is when we, we don't care about HTTP in this case, since that is just uh, uh, redirected to the HTTPS connection. So it is that uh, HTTPS connection we want to enable for HTTP2. So we just add HTTP2 to these two lines. Uh, these two lines like that. Uh, we will exit that one. Uh, uh, sudo uh, service engine x reload. Uh, so when we look at this one, uh, ah shit, I shouldn't have. <laughs> I should have shown this before. Oh well, well, let's do that anyways. So we go to the network. Uh, part of the inspector and we reload this one now. Uh, so this was the, the page being loaded. Uh, if you click, you can add a protocol to this view. Uh, and if we add the protocol, we will see that in this case, it's hard to see when it's so small. We see that the protocol is H2 and that's HTTP2. So so now the, the pages are being served over HTTP2 and we can the browser can, can take uh, we can use multiplexing to, to contact our server and maybe get a small performance boost in that way. However, if we were to use some kind of advanced server push or something using HTTP from the node server, then we need some way of getting HTTP2 request all the way from the server to the node server. But that is an, a totally other deal. So so we will not look at that right now. But, but by simply just adding HTTP2 like that, then we have enabled HTTP2 ATTP2 uh, multiplexing from the client to the server.